Nouvellet guide in Razor language. Nouvellet is known to be a strong character, but he's also super easy to build, even for free-to-play players. His signature is crazy strong, but if you don't want to wish on the weapon banner, the prototype Amber is an easy pick thanks to it being craftable and is not even a copium one. It gives energy to him and heals your team, making him not only the main DPS, but also the healer. In fact, he's the entire team. It's not uncommon to see Nouvellet doing Abyss solo runs. Other 5-star weapons like Lost Prayers, Cash Flow Supervision, and Jade Fall Splendor are also really nice. And lastly, Sacrificial Jade from the Battle Pass is really really good. You might think about using Widsith, but 2 out of 3 buffs are useless on him, so it's actually not great. You're better off with just Amber. His artifact set is Hunter. Heart of Depth is another good option, but Hunter is way more preferable. Two-piece sets of Hydro HP and Charged Attack are okay if you're still farming for a full set. Main stats are HP Sands, Hydro Goblet, and Crit Circlet. HP Goblet or even HP Circlet are viable, but they'll need better substats to be competitive, and even then, Triple HP main stats will perform worse regardless of substats. Substats are HP, crit rate, crit damage, and energy. His energy requirements are between 110 to 140, depending if Farina is on the team or not, and if you're using weapons that give energy, like Amber and his signature, or even Favonius weapons on the team. He has very good constellations, especially his C1, which gives him interruption resistance but also one stack for his passive talent heir to the Ancient Sea's authority, for free, without the need to do a Hydro-related reaction. Which means you'll have an easier time using him in double Hydro with Farina. This passive talent basically wants you to do a different Hydro-related reaction to get each stack, up to three stacks, with a refreshable 30 seconds duration each. C2 gives him 14% crit damage to his charged attack for each stack he has, the same stacks mentioned before. Up to 3 stacks, which is 42% crit damage. C4 generates a droplet, one of his balls, every time he's healed on the field. This effect has a 4 seconds cooldown. It basically means you'll get 3 more balls every rotation, which equals to another charged attack cast. This is honestly his worst constellation, because he already has a good rotation, and since you want to refresh stuff like VV or Kazuha's damage bonus, the extra balls become irrelevant. And lastly, C6 basically makes his charged attack uninterrupted, so with 9 balls, instead of having 3 separated charged attacks, you'll have just one that lasts the same amount of hits, but will also deal 2 more hits every 2 seconds equal to 10% of his max HP each. All in all, I would personally recommend going for C1 or C2, but they're absolutely not necessary and he's already a cracked character at C0. Talent priority is normal attacks, burst, and skill. His normal attacks are the most important, but leveling all of his talents is recommended. As for his teams, his most premium one is Farina Kazuha and Baizu. Kazuha Zongli and Fischl is also really good if you don't have Farina, especially at C0 if you need the extra stack and the shield to avoid interruptions. But he can even play completely alone, so don't be afraid to test anything that comes to your mind. Hyperbloom, Burn Vape, anything can work. And that's it for this guide, hope it was helpful, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.